Everyone loves money and everyone loves violence. So let me tell you how to use violence to earn a lot of money in Star Citizen patch 321.1. At this point, it just feels like it's the number of pi. Hello, my name is Grumpy. Grumpy. So I've been playing Star Citizen a lot since the last patch dropped and all I can say is that it is surely starting to look like a real game, a game that I would like to play. Yes, there are a ton of bugs and the server performance is bad, even the networking on an empty server is still terrible even when the server tick rate is at 30, which just shows that there are a ton of underlying issues with the netcode itself. And I'm hoping that the integration of the replication layer is going to fix all of that. But even though it's very broken, there are still some things that keep me coming back to it, which is a good thing. And I know that I'm very welcomed by the community and that you just couldn't wait for me to release yet another video so you can bash on me. But since the love is mutual, let me tell you how you can earn a lot of money in Star Citizen. It's not fast, but it is a lot of money. But before I tell you what you need to do, let's first talk about other high earning professions in Star Citizen. Now since the cargo in the salvage missions has been nerfed a couple of times now, first time being a day after I made a video about it in 319 and the last time being just before this patch dropped, it is something I simply cannot recommend that you do anymore. You still have the Wake of Disaster missions which will get you a lot of high value cargo but since it's a PvP hotspot and that sore losers will ram the salvageable ships destroying the cargo in them, it is a mission that you really only want to do on an empty server. That said, how scraping legal salvageable ships is also too slow and the money is really bad compared to the time that you spend on it. Just to put things into perspective, I took a legal salvage mission that gave me the rights to salvage an A2 bomber. I did it as a single person in a reclaimer and it took me about 3 hours to scrape its hull. And after getting all the Colossus bombs out of it and salvaging all the guns and the cargo, I only got around 350,000 alpha UAC. And since I invested 50,000 just to get the mission, you can say that I earned around 100,000 per hour. Of course, with two more players on my ship, I would finish faster, but since you need to split that money evenly between players, in the end you will still earn the same amount of money for the same amount of time that you spent on those missions. And if you're a part of an org that doesn't give you an even split, then you should probably leave that org. Mining is much more engaging and profitable than it was some time ago when I stopped playing. I'm actually liking most of the changes, and as far as I can tell, there is little to no reason to go for quality over quantity. Or in other words, some time ago you would search for good containium rocks for hours until you find them, since gathering any other ores was simply not profitable enough. So if you find Bexalite, Terranite, Gold or Bores, Boris, whatever, you should mine it and refine it because it will sell for a lot of money. And if you have the mole and a big cargo ship, you might as well just collect everything you find. And once you sell it, your wallet will fill up really nicely. So you could say that mining is the most profitable profession in Star Citizen right now, and you would be right. So that is it for today guys, thank you for what- no, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Not everyone has a mole or a big ass cargo ship, so let's, let's continue. Cargo hauling on the other hand is still a bit weird. If you have a hull C, you can earn 300,000 to 600k per run, but the investments are just too high for me to recommend this for you because you might get pirated. Honestly, I'm really hoping that the cargo missions will fix this issue and I guess we're still waiting on Tony Z to get out of his hibernation chamber and bring us those long awaited changes to the economy. But there is another way to earn money and from what I can tell it is the best way to earn money in this patch. If it's not the best way it's the most fun way at least. All you will need is a multi-tool with a tractor beam and a ship that has decent guns and as much cargo space as you can get. So ships that fall into this category are the Cutlass Black, the Corsair, the Freelancer series, the Crusader C1, the RSI Constellation Andromeda or even better the Taurus. So ships like that. So basically any multi-crew ship with cargo space and some firepower will do. Of course you can do these missions with smaller starter ships such as the Cutter, the Aurora or the Gatak, uh, Suyulan, 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 Suyul
as these missions could be the perfect missions for people that are just starting out. And of course, I'm talking about the bounty missions. So first off, if you're a new player, you will take a bounty mission from your Moby Glass, and same as before, you will be given a mission to kill a guy somewhere on a planet or a moon or in an asteroid field. Now, before you go into full berserk mode and kill everyone, I want you to assess the situation first. Every bounty will spawn with a couple of supporting ships, and before you engage any of them, you need to see which ships out of all of them could be carrying cargo. It's simple, if it's a fighter like the Buccaneer, Hornet, Gladius or an Ion, it will not be carrying cargo. But if it's an MSR, a Freelancer or a Nomad or any of the ships that can carry cargo, those are the ships you will need to go for last. So kill the fighters first and then try to kill the cargo ships when they're as close to you as possible. Once they explode, you will see that they have some cargo inside of them. And that cargo is the reason why you will be doing these missions, because 99% of the time it will be worth a lot. Just to put things into perspective again, I got 6 SUs of RMC from killing a single Nomad, which is 46,000 Alpha UEC on top of what I earned when I killed the bounty. And this is where the tractor beam comes in handy. Some ships have tractor beams on them and they're really easy to use, so if you have a Taurus you're in luck because it has basically the best tractor beam placements for these kinds of missions. The cargo that spawns is random, but the low the tier cargo that I saw was really not that bad, it was Distilled Spirits, which can still be sold for a hefty amount of Alpha UAC. These missions mostly spawn drugs such as Maze, Etam, Widow, Neon, Altrucia Toxin, and they can also spawn RMC or Recyclable Material Composite or whatever. You can also salvage the guns from most of the ships you kill, but some of them will also have internal components. The list of ships is too long for me to tell you which ships have components and which don't, but it's pretty easy to understand. If the ship that you killed got released to the game in the past few years, it will have physicalized components. And if it was released before 2021, it will not have internal components. And those components can also be sold for a lot of money. Once you collect the loot and once you fill your ship up, you will want to sell that loot. And there are a few places where you can do that. First one being Grimhex. You will be able to sell most of it there, but it doesn't take unlimited amounts of cargo. So it might take a while to sell all of those goods. The next Next ones will be the Lagrange points at Cruel 4 and Cruel 5 simply because they have no questions asked terminals, which are located close to the admin offices. You might try those spots if you're not able to sell everything at Grimhex. Now the best spots to sell everything that you have gathered are of course going to be the salvage yards, such as Reclamation and Disposal Orient on Kirsten, Samson and Sun Salvage Center on Walla, Devlin Scrap and Salvage on Euterpe, or Brio's Breaker Yard on Baymar. But there is a catch. Those salvage yards are PvP hotspots, and they will constantly be camped by other players, and that is why I suggested that you sell uh, all of your booty <laughs> to Grimhex or any other like Lagrange points or where wherever else, because you will be camped out and you will be killed and you will lose probably everything. Now when it comes to RMC, you can sell it at Grimhex, but the best spot to sell it is the TDD terminals on any of the planets, because if you also have a lot of components, ship weapons, missiles or bombs that you want to sell, most of them can be sold at Cousin Crows on Crusader and in the Crusader showroom itself. Now it can be really buggy at times and most of the interiors of the ships that you have destroyed are not going to spawn at all, and most of them seem to have a major twerk in balance, and they will shake their booty until you collect it, but even with that it is really profitable, and it is really fun to get out of your ship and collect the loot from the NPCs that you killed. And as before, get it while it's hot, I don't know if this is going to get nervous because a day after I posted a similar video to this one a few months ago, the missions got nerfed to the ground. And I surely hope that they won't get nerfed again. I get why they nerfed the cargo from the salvage contracts, but at least these missions are a bit more risky. And I mean a lot more risky, because those NPC ships will try to ram your ship over and over again until they kill you. So what I'm saying is that I believe that they should stay like this, not only because it's profitable, but because it's fun. Honestly, I didn't want to do a single bounty mission for over a year, because I was fed up with them after years and years of grind, and this basically refreshed them completely and made them fun again. You can also get a friend with a salvage ship, such as the Vulture or the Reclaimer, and they can scrape those destroyed NPC ships to get an extra buck or two, but honestly we tried it and it's not that profitable. We can only get one SEO of RMC from a cutty side ship, which is simply not enough for the amount of time that you'll spend sitting there and power washing a destroyed
destroyed ship. Next patch should give us the first iteration of hull munching mechanics, so my hope is that the salvage profession will become more fun and more profitable at the same time. Anyway, that is it for today guys, thank you for watching and thank you to all my patrons that are supporting the channel, even though I'm not really posting that much, I have a lot of personal issues that I really just don't want to talk about. Uh, like, you then know me, you, you probably know what's happening. But um, uh, yeah, thank you for watching again. If you want to support me, although I don't really understand why would you, because I'm like posting every, every like two weeks or a month. So, and it, most of it is not or was not Star Citizen. But if you want to support me, the link is down there. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll fix my music PC at some point and like have money to do something in my life. But yeah, whatever. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling to space, and and I love you, and goodbye. And I also wore my, uh, this is my own, like, you can buy this in the store if you want to, but it's a pyro t-shirt, and I'm still, like, I'm, I'm still longing for pyro after the preview uh, that we had, and I really want it in the game. But, yeah, not gonna happen anytime soon. Bye. Love you. Oh my God! Slam it inside, Jesus oh. Christ! Yeah, <laughs> problem? No, no problems. No, no, no not at all. Like a glove. <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> I, I honestly just can't enter it. Aligned. Okay, now you're. Ported to the ship. How the fuck do you enter this thing? Oh, come on. Let me look what are you doing there. Okay, you align with the door and try to head above the top of the door. I'm trying. <laughs> you actually entered. Okay, so I'm doing something wrong, I guess. Maybe the armor is just too big. Nope. No, you you, you hit the right side of the door. <laughs> okay, a little bit to the left. Forwards. Fuck it, yeah. out, dude. <laughs> Best ship ever.